Hello everybody and welcome to Andrew Broussard Watercolors. Today I'm going to do a quick painting, just a quick experiment using uh, two brushes that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. Um, it's always fun having new art tools and supplies and I thought I'd just kind of play around with them and see what a big brush and a small brush could do. So this is the oval mop, um, the synthetic uh, Taclon, and this is the script liner, um, size three slash zero. So I think that means triple zero, so very thin. Um, I don't know if I mentioned synthetic squirrel. So I have Fabriano Artistico paper. I believe that's how it's pronounced. And I'm just going to dive right in. I have some random photos of butterflies on the side, and. Figured I'd see how these would work for practice for that little, you know, butterfly motif. So I'm just mixing up a soupy mix on the side, light red oxide, a little bit of lemon yellow. Just kind of, kind of use whatever's on the palette, and we'll just jump right in. Butterfly wing. Butterfly wing. Grab a little bit of ultramarine blue. Feed that into the edges. We'll go right down the back with that. We'll grab the number three slash zero. That's gonna be weird saying because I used the silver black velvet brushes and I kind of wanted to see if I could get something thinner. All right, Percy. Yeah. And um, three slash zero is just weird to say. Okay. And we got that. I'm going to do that. Let's um, do some wet and wet lines. Well, in the back, she's gonna wind up jumping up here, aren't you? Percy, you can't jump up here. Oh, fed in a big old glob of black back there, so I'll try to mimic on this side. Yeah, let's throw in another butterfly here and try one from the side, a lizard and crimson. A lot of, a lot of pigment right there. A lot of water. And I'll play around with this guy for gestural marks. And I'll grab ultramarine. Not really any type of butterfly in particular, just kind of playing around. This is the Payne's Gray, just feeding into it. Unfortunately, the guy on the left seemed to have come out a little bit dull, so let me see if I can get some colors in there to kind of make it pop. If you follow a lot of my paintings, you'll know that I I like darker colors, so I don't really have very beautiful <laughs> pigments on my palette. So that's just a lemon yellow that I kind of fed in there. So um, we'll kind of put them in a context. Let's grab lemon yellow and ultramarine for a green. And I'll use the oval mop on its side. Put 
that in there. So that's just a mixture of ultramarine and uh, lemon yellow. Take a little bit of Payne's Gray just to kind of accent it, give it a little bit of dimension. Let me wash this brush again. I'm trying to mix a little bit of a different green, more on the uh, yellow side. I had um, grabbed quite a bit of ultramarine when I had done that first application. Um, so I just put some fresh ultramarine out. Let's do some flowers. Let's see, uh, not flowers, leaves. Just kind of marking it in. And just seeing what could be done with these brushes. I grab ultramarine into this mix. This is the three slash zero brush. And just like before, kind of giving some dimension, letting some stems and um, veins happen. So it's kind of just fast and loose, playing around, having fun. Now just for like some a little bit of depth, let's, um, I'm gonna wipe off the palette. I'm not sure if you can see my palette but the way I have it um, set up. You can see it a little bit. I zoomed in because it's about eight by 10. Uh, I'm gonna grab a little bit of raw sienna, a little bit of ultramarine, and try to get a light, gray just so we can kind of do a distant background branches and foliage kind of just sitting behind everything and just making some marks around okay let me pause the camera and uh, put a little mat over it and see what it looks like. As I was drying it off, I realized I kind of wanted to play around a little bit more with this thin brush. And let's see, so we won't be going wet and wet, we'll be doing more gestural on top of that. And we'll see how we can accent these butterflies. So I'm just gonna take Payne's Gray. Feed that in. Um, do the same great thing with this guy. I'm not trying to like draw within the lines or color within the lines, just give some semblance of shape to them and just um, having fun. Yeah, there we go. Do the same thing with the leaves. Just get a lot of movement and just have fun. All right, 
let's uh, pause it for a moment, do a quick... All right, and here we are after a quick dry off. So the butterfly motif in and of itself is just really fun and um, expressive. So with you know two simple brushes, whether it's the oval mop and the thin uh, script liner, or regardless of the brand, I mean, you can play around with um, a big large mop and play around with that, or even with the hake brush and experiment. It's a fun motif and um, kind of really just lets you experiment and just get expressive. So I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you liked, um, please like and subscribe, comment down below. And um, yeah, I'll talk to you all soon. Have a great day.